Hello students, how are you all? Hope all of you are doing well. All of you are again welcome back to my YouTube channel that is Science Guru Sir Olaf. And today I will discuss in this video about class 8 math that is understanding quadrilaterals. So in this chapter we will uh, we'll read and learn about the polygons, the different types of polygons, the classification of the polygons on the basis of the shape, on the basis of their number of sides, on the basis of their measurements of the sides. Along with also we will discuss about the uh, relation between the exterior and interior angle. So first of all we will start with the polygon. What is polygon? A polygon is a simple closed curve. Remember a polygon is a simple closed curve made up of only the line segments. So two important things we have to remember about the polygon that our first one is it is a closed simple closed curve along with it is made up of the number of line segments. So this is a, a polygon. Now we will discuss about the classification of the polygon on the basis of their shape. Mainly on the basis of their shape we can classify the polygon into two different types. That is first one is known as the convex polygon and the second one is known as the concave polygon. So what is convex polygon? A convex polygon can be defined as a polygon with all its interior angle measures is less than 180 degree. That is all the interior angles should be less than 180 degree. Measurement of all the interior angles should be less than 180 degree. This is called the convex polygon. Now on the other hand, what is concave polygon? A concave polygon will always have at least one or more than one number of angles whose measures is more than 180 degree. That is the reflex angle. You will get the reflex angle at least one or more than one reflex angle in the concave polygon. Now if, uh, if I draw the figure here, then it will be more clear to you that as for example, we, if we see the simple convex polygon, look at this figure. It is a polygon made up of the line segment and also it is a closed shape and all the interior angles are less than 180 degree. Now what is the difference between the convex and the concave polygon? Now look at the concave polygon figure. If I draw like this, you will get one interior angle is one interior angle is measures is more than 180 degrees so that we can consider it as a reflex angle. If you remember about the previous video, you will get that what, what is a reflex angle. I already discussed about the reflex angle. The angle with measures is more than 180 degree and less than 360 degree. These angles are known as reflex angle. So this is the con convex and concave polygon. Now we will discuss the, the classification of the polygon on the basis of their number of sides. On the basis of the number of the sides, we can classify the polygon into different way. First one, when a polygon, when a polygon made up of three number of sides, when a polygon made up of three numbers of sides, when a polygon made up of three number of sides, it is known as triangle. When a polygon made up of four number of sides, whether it is square, parallelogram or rectangle, they are known as quadrilateral. They are known as quadrilateral. Then another one, when a polygon made up of five number of sides, they are known as pentagon. Pentagon. When a polygon made up of six numbers of sides, they are known as hexagon. Hexagon. Similarly, when a polygon made up of seven number of sides, it is known as heptagon. When a polygon made up of eight number of sides, it is known as octagon. When a polygon made up of nine number of sides, it is known as nonagon. Then when a polygon made up of ten number of sides, it is known as decagon. Till the ten number of sides, that is the decagon, the classification is there, rest all will be considered as simple polygon. So we have to remember that 
what, uh, what we have to remember from here that when a polygon made up of three number of sides, it is known as triangle. When a polygon made up of four number of sides, it is known as quadrilateral. When a polygon made up of five number of sides, it is known as pentagon. When a polygon made up of six number of sides, it is known as hexagon. Then heptagon, that is seven number of sides. Octagon, then it is uh, made up of eight number of sides. Nonagon, nine number of sides. And decagon, it is ten number of sides. So this is the classification of the polygon on the basis of their number of the sides. Now on the basis of the measurement of the sides, on the basis of the measurements of the sides, also we can classify the polygon into two different types. What are these two different types? When a polygon made up of all the equal sides, the measurements of all the sides are equal. When a polygon made up of all the sides are with equal measurements. All the sides are with equal measurements. It is known as regular polygon. It is known as regular polygon. When a polygon made up of different measurements of sides, suppose all the sides are not same, all the sides are not same, it is known as irregular polygon. So regular polygon and irregular polygon. Regular polygon means what? All the sides will be equal. If uh, in a triangle all the three sides are equal, it is known as regular triangle or we can consider it as also equilateral triangle. Same in case of uh, quadrilateral. When a quadrilateral made up of all the four sides are equal, it is considered as square. It is considered as square or regular quadrilateral. Same irregular. Same regular pentagon, regular hexagon, regular heptagon, regular octagon, regular nonagon, and regular decagon. This is the classification of the polygons on the basis of the measurements of the sides. Now, one important thing we, we have to remember from here for any polygon, for any polygon, what will be the angle sum property? For any polygon, what will be the angle sum property? Whether it is regular or irregular, whether it will be regular or irregular, what will be the angle sum property? We have to remember here the formula. One formula is that we have to remember this formula that is n minus 2 into 180. Now, what is this n? From where we get this n? n stands for the number of sides. n stands for the number of sides. How many sides are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So the sum of the interior angle will be 4 minus 2 into 180 degree. 4 minus 2 that is 2 into 180 degree. So that we can write as 360 degree. So what will be the sum of the interior angle of a quadrilateral? It will be 360 degree. Now if it is pentagon, say n minus 2, n minus 2 into 180 degree n minus 2 into 180 degree then if it is pentagon it will be 5 5 minus 2 into 180 degree 5 minus 2 that is 3 into 180 degree that is 540 degree so sum of the interior angle total of all the interior angles of a quadrilateral we get 360 degree by using the formula n minus 2 into 180 degree n minus 2 into 180 degree. Same, similarly, uh, sum of the interior angle, that is total of all the interior angle in a pentagon, it will be pentagon, it will be n minus 2 into 180, so that we are getting 540 degree. So, this is, uh, by this way, we can find out the sum of the interior angle of hexagon, we can find out the sum of the interior angle of heptagon, we can uh, find the sum of the interior angle of octagon, nonagon, decagon. So it is very easy, just we have to remember this formula that is n minus 2 into 180 degree. So this is uh, the angle sum property. Now when we can find the sum of the interior angle, then we have to remember the exterior angle also. We have to remember here the sum of the exterior angle of any polygon, whether it is triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, decagon, for any polygon, for any polygon, sum of the exterior angle will be 360 degree. Sum of the exterior angle will be 360 degree. This is constant for any polygon. 
this is constant for any polygon the sum of the exterior angle will be how much 360 degree it will not change but sum of the interior angle will be changed on the basis of the number of the sides on the basis of the number of the sides of the polygon sum of the interior angle will be changed because it is depending on the n when n change the total sum of the interior angle also will be changed but sum of the exterior angle always constant it is 360 degree now we have to find out the relation between the exterior angle and the interior angle so just look at the board how to find out the relation between the exterior angle and the interior angle suppose we draw a triangle we draw a triangle here now these are known as the interior angle and we know that sum of the interior angle of a polygon is how much of a triangle it is how much n minus 2 into 180 degree n minus 2 into 180 degree so that we will get from here 180 degree because n minus 2 t minus 2 t minus 2 it is 1 1 into 180 degree that is 180 degree so this is about the interior angle now when we discuss about the exterior angle we have to extend this line segment in this way we have to extend this line segment in this way so that this plus this plus this this is exterior angle and we know that sum of the exterior angle is also constant it is 360 degree sum of the exterior angle is constant it is how much it is 360 degree sum of the exterior angle is 360 degree now the relation between the interior and the exterior angle you just look at this this is a straight line and we know that the angle formed by a straight line is 180 degree so 180 degree minus interior angle equal exterior angle or 180 degree minus exterior angle equal interior angle this is the relation between the interior angle and the exterior angle so what is the relation we are getting the relation between the interior angle and the exterior angle if we know the interior angle if we know the interior angle then exterior angle will be exterior angle equal what exterior angle equal what 180 degree minus interior angle exterior angle equal 180 degree minus interior angle say interior angle equal 180 degree minus exterior angle this is the relation between the interior angle and the exterior angle now next we will discuss about the suppose we know the sum of the we know the number of the sides we know the number of the sides and it is a regular uh, polygon now you have to find out the measurement of each exterior angle how to find out suppose a polygon is there with the number of the sides is 6 that is it is a regular hexagon it is a regular hexagon and we have to find out the measurement of the each interior angle how to find out the measurement of the each interior angle so it is very easy we know that sum of the exterior angle for a regular hexagon for a regular hexagon, just I will draw this hexagon here. Okay, how many sides are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That is, it is octagon. How, how many sides are there? Octagon. So, for a regular octagon, what will be the measurement of the each interior angle? All that, because it is regular, so that each interior angle will be equal. What will be the measurement of each interior angle? How to find out? Because we know that sum of the interior angle will be n minus 2 into 180 degree. When we know that sum of the angle is one, uh, n minus 2 into 180 degree, that is n 8 minus 2 into 180 degree. Now 8 minus 2, that is 6 into 180 degree. 6 into 18. 6 into 180 degree is 1080 degree. 1080 degree. Now where it is 1080 degree? When it is 1080 degree divided by 8, 1080 divided by 8.
divided by 8 because how many angles are there? 8 sides are there, so then 8 angles are there. Divided by 8, 8 1 is 8, 9 3 2, 28, 8 3 is uh, 24, 4 40, 8 5 is uh, 40. So measurement of each interior angle will be 135 degree. Measurement of each interior angle will be 135 degree. By this way, if we know the number of the sides, we can find out the measurement of each interior angle. We can find out also the number, uh, if we know the number of the sides, we can also find out the measurement of each exterior angle. Because sum of the exterior angle will be 360 degree. Then divided by 8, you will get the measure of each exterior angle. So this is all about the interior angle and the exterior angle. Hope this will be helpful for you and if you feel helpful for you, you can please share and subscribe my YouTube channel that is Science Guru Sarolog. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this video.